In today's video, we're gonna break down five incredible facts about the wonderful little Boston Terrier. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Now, this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the glorious little Boston Terrier, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Boston Terrier companions. So if you're a lifelong Boston Terrier lover or you're just thinking about getting your very first one, then start that incredible journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video. I'm going to break down five incredible and very interesting facts about one of the world's most glorious and comical dog breeds, the Boston Terrier. And let's start our fact at number five with the history. Now there are various stories about how the Boston Terrier came to be and most of those stories do cross over each other. Now amongst one of the most common beliefs are that a dog judge, which was a mix between a bulldog and English white terrier, which are now extinct, was exported from the UK over to the US and there were bred to burn its jip which is a bulldog typed female and the result of that breeding was the start of the boston terrier breed we see today and early on in the breed's history the dogs were still much larger and bulkier than the boston terriers of today though through selective breeding breeders were able to reduce that size and weight in those later offsprings over time now due to the element of bulldog in this new breed early breeders called their dog roundheads or bull terriers now unfortunately neither people interested in bull terriers or bulldogs agreed to this and that's why the american bull terrier club started in 1889 changed the name to the boston terrier club which for that matter was named in honor of its birthplace of boston so in 1889 the american bull terrier club was started by some 30 boston terrier owners but about two years later was when they changed the name to the boston terrier club and only a few years later after that the breed was then recognized by the american kennel club which is around 1893 and a little fun fact to throw in at this point was in 1976 the boston chiria was chosen as the bicentennial dog of the u.s three years later the breed was also named the official state dog of massachusetts another fun fact is that the name terrier is actually misleading since the boston terrier is not actually a terrier that's why they are excluded from the terrier category on the american kennel club website if you've ever tried to find them there so at number four, let's look at their temperament and trainability. And it's good to know is the fact that the Boston Terrier is a great family pet, usually good with children, although slightly older children may be preferred. Your Boston Terrier will absolutely love his or her family, but be slightly suspicious of strangers. Now, originally the Boston Terrier was bred to fight, unfortunately, from those history and lineages we just talked about. Now that has been excluded from breeding programs for a long time, but perhaps that's why you'll always feel that innate sense of protection by your Boston Terrier at home, since he or she will always bark to warn you about intruders. No need for a larger guarding breed with a tiny little Boston Terrier around trying to scare everybody off that wants to come to your house. Now, a Boston Terrier is friendly and has a childlike sense of humor. They are high energy dogs and require a lot of exercise to not go ballistic in your home. But given enough exercise, the Boston Terrier could care, could manage very well in a small apartment or small townhouse, even without a huge yard. However, and they do like to bark a lot like we just mentioned they like to dig and due to their nose they tend to snort and snore so if you're sensitive to dogs making a lot of noise and you want a very quiet dog then you might want to reconsider the boston terrier now if you consider a boston terrier for a pet please be warned that they are quirky childlike and silly and if you're imaginative and patient they are easy to train and love learning tricks they are also friendly kind and protective and like any other dog they do their best with a consistent leader giving clear calm directions and guidance throughout their life so my fact at number three is let's talk about some famous Boston Terriers. Now during World War II, a dog that resembles the Boston Terrier of today was found wandering near soldiers training at Yale. The dog was brought into ranks and named Stubby. For unknown reasons, the dog was brought overseas and was found to be excellent at warning troops of gas attacks and helping paramedics finding wounded soldiers. He even spotted and attacked a German spy, after which he was promoted to sergeant. Now after returning to the US, Stubby was decorated in and even got to meet not one but three presidents 
Now, Disney released an animated short movie in 2014 titled Feast, starring a Boston Terrier. The movie won an Academy Award and was praised by critics and really started to raise the popularity of this incredible breed. And another movie featuring Boston Terriers, The Backup Plan 2010, where the handicapped nubbins appeared. At number two, let's talk about the looks and grooming facts of the Boston Terrier. And they are a smaller breed, standing around 17 inches tall and weighing up to about 25 pounds. The head is square with a short nose, short tail and quite large standing ears. The body is sturdy and muscular, their legs tall and strong. The eyes are slightly protruding, so you have to be careful that they don't pop. Colour-wise, the Boston Terriers come in black and white, black brindle, white, brindle and white, seal white, uh, seal brindle and white. You get the point, they come in a lot of colours. The fur is short and very easy to groom. An occasional brushing is quite enough to keep your Boston Terrier looking dapper as they should. Sorry to quickly interrupt the video guys, but today's video is brought to you by our Perfect Puppy Programme. It's the programme that I've designed to take you on a 12 month journey to becoming a high level canine leader that can raise perfect canine companions with your brand new puppy. So if you want to go and check it out, more information, there's a link in the description box below. Tons of testimonials, but we'll get straight back to the video you were just watching. Now the fact at number one that I do think it's important to talk about is the health of the Boston Terrier. Smaller dogs usually have a long life expectancy than larger breeds. Now this is true also for the Boston Terrier. Cared for properly with good exercise, proper high-end nutrition, lots of love, rules and boundaries, your Boston Terrier can easily live 11, 13 years and sometimes more. Now like most breeds however, there are some health issues that it's really important that you be aware of. Now due to those prominent eyes, like we mentioned, the Boston Terrier is prone to various eye problems. Amongst this is uh, cataracts, glaucoma, dry eye, camellias, uh, ulcers, eyelash disorders and cherry eye. Now dystosia is another problem that occurs with the breed. Due to their large heads they usually need a c-section for giving birth to their puppies. Some females may be able to give birth naturally but c-section is very common in the breed like breeds like an English or French bulldog. Now brachycephalic syndrome is a result of that short narrow nose and airways and this can cause quite a lot of difficulty with the breed in breathing and the solution for this problem is often in surgery which can be very expensive. And other issues that may arise are luxating patella and a hermavertebrae. Now, the likelihood that any or all of these conditions would appear in your dog is very slim, but it's very good to know beforehand what is more commonly uh, could happen with your dog so that you're prepared and can keep an eye on it because the best thing is to always catch it early on. You should also be aware that due to that short and narrow nose and airways, the Boston Terrier is very intolerant to heat. On a sunny, warm, hot summer day, you shouldn't take your dog out for any long walks and you need to be extra careful that you don't overstrain them or overheat them and make sure that they've got plenty of access to cool fresh water and cool shaded environments i hope you enjoyed our five facts today if so make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below if you think there's any more fun facts about the boston terrier that you'd like to share with everybody in this community now if you love the boston terrier don't forget to subscribe because we've got two dedicated boston terrier videos coming here to this channel every single week and i can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the fenrir boston terrier show